I'm a little bit late. Um, things happen in life, and I had to take my granddaughter to school and just got back. So, um, but I'm here. Uh, today, the daily word is about uh, weave. I weave, weave meaning into my life story is the daily word, and the daily word um, is great, but that's not what I'm going to do the meditation on today. Um, I wrote a prayer. Uh, sometimes I write ahead for the Wednesday prayer, and life was so crazy the last couple of days that I didn't get it done for this week. So Jerry has some on reserve, and the one that I had on reserve was about divine guidance and uh, spirit and spirituality. And I, I have to say that um, there are things come into our lives that um, we are challenged with, or we can just let go, and we can let divine guidance and spirit control things instead of us controlling them. And so I've had the opportunity in the last few days to practice that. And um, in practicing that, what you have to do is you have to understand that divine guidance works kind of both ways. If you let divine guidance work for you, it does. If you try to work things for yourself, divine guidance isn't going to be able to work. So in the two instances I'm thinking of, one of the things that was like shocking to me, how wonderful everything just, you know, came together and how it wasn't anything on my part particularly at all. What it was was something that I'm working on and I completely let spirit guide me and gave it up and gave it to God and God's guidance. And lo and behold, things have happened that I would have never anticipated in a, in a, in a place where um, it wasn't an area that I thought um, would I would be led. And then in the na in last couple days, um, I had a situation where uh, someone gave me information. I didn't think that per person was particularly reliable, but you know, the little voice just kind of goes, well, is that really right or is that not right? What's going on? And it it threw me off. And uh, I, I'm trying to say, what should I do about this? What can I do about this? And it was like, I can't do anything about it. It's not my issue. What I can do is put it in prayer. What I can do is let go and let spirit guide the way and not get involved. Um, and sometimes that's a lot harder to do, especially if it's with somebody you love or uh, a family member, which I think both of those go together, or a close friend or something like that, or an issue that impacts your life in a, in a particular way, uh, whether it be financial or physical or uh, relational. Uh, and, you know, I, I had a conversation the other day with some ladies at the Soul Sisters lunch, and it was like, well, you know, we're at, a, we're at the age where we really, really need, we need to be spiritual, we need to be centered. And we were saying how um, unfortunate it was for us earlier in life that we were just so busy and we didn't do this. But we came to the conclusion that, you know, we wish we had and we're here now. So let's make the best of the time we have giving over to God, letting God guide us, letting spirit guide us, trying to stay spiritually centered. Um, I think in our youth, um, many of us tried to do that, but it's amazing what you learn over time about what works and what doesn't work and trying to take control of situations without divine guidance isn't what works. 
um, you can get in a, my mother used to say, a mel of a house. Um, so divine guidance and spirit are here for us. And as long as we realize that, our lives are unlimited. Our potential for what we want in life is un unlimited. Um, our, our prosperity, and I'm not talking about material things, our prosperity, our abundance is limitless. All of those things are unlimited if we choose to go with divine guidance and direction and not try to take control of the reins. So what I'd like you to do right now is let's just spend a few minutes Letting go of any of those reins you've been trying to take up or I've been trying to take up. Just pretend you're, you know, you're on a horse or you're driving a buggy and just let those reins go. Let them go and just visualize where the ride could take you. We don't know. And just let go of those reins and let God let spirit divinely guide us in the directions and in the ways that are meant for us. So let's go within. Let's take a couple of deep breaths. Breathe in and out. Let's do that three times and count to four. Let's take three more deep breaths in and out, counting to four each way. Now let's come into the present moment. Open your eyes. Our lives are unlimited as long as we let spirit guide us. And so when we realize we're the ones that put the barriers up to our highest good, 
we can break down those barriers by letting spirit take the reins, letting go and letting spirit take over. Divine guidance is ours whenever we need it. So I have two, um, actually I have three. I have three um, affirmations. I just got one in, in the meditation. My life is unlimited. My life is unlimited. My life is unlimited. Spirit leads me, directs me, and guides me. Spirit leads me, directs me, and guides me. Spirit leads me, directs me, and guides me. I am spirit. Spirit and I are one. I am spirit. Spirit and I are one. I am spirit. Spirit and I are one. And that only works when you give it to spirit. And death, don't let your ego self take over. Hand those reins to spirit. Wait for divine guidance. You may need divine patience, but divine guidance is what spirit wants for us. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Have a beautiful day. It's nice outside. And spend some time recreating, whether it's in prayer and meditation or doing yoga or going for a walk or looking out the window or listening to the birds. Do something to recreate that you that is spirit.